This boat holds nine world records. Among them is her transatlantic crossing from west to east, three days and 15 hours. That was an average speed of 32.94 knots. I'll say that again in case you thought it was a mistake. An average speed of 32.94 knots. She also holds a 24-hour record, 908 miles. And perhaps my favourite is the fast net. One day, eight hours. Welcome to the world's biggest trimaran. Spindrift 2 was formerly known as Bank Populaire. She's 40 metres long, that's 131 foot overall. And she's currently owned by Donna Bertarelli, that's Ernesto Bertarelli's sister. Together with her co-skipper Yang Guichard and their team, they aim to break some of those records. Along with her new name and her new paint job came a big reconfiguration of the boat. But the interesting thing is that in order to break records, they've actually reduced the sail plan. The mast is shorter and the total sail area is down by 20%. The thinking behind the change was that a lot of the time this boat was sailed with one reef in the main. So in order to reduce weight and windage, they decided to take the top of the mast off. In fact, they actually reduced it from the bottom, but they reduced it by the height of that reef. That reduced weight, reduced windage, and they hope increased performance. In addition to reducing the sail plan, they've also managed to save weight by reducing the number of crew that's required to sail her. Originally that was 14, now it's down to 12, possibly even less than that. And with that comes a reduction in the amount of kit that's required. There are fewer grinding pedestals and the machinery that goes with it. Jan Guichard, who's just on the wheel back there, plans to enter the Route de Rum. That's the single-handed race from France to the other side of the pond. Single-handed in a 131-foot trimaran. Rather him than me. There's not much breeze at the moment, probably four knots, maybe five knots at best. But as you may be able to see from behind me on the instrument displays here, we're doing nine and a half. <laughs> but even that's nothing for this boat. The crew talk of a normal cruising speed of being about 30 knots, up to about 35. After that, she's capable of well over 40. In fact, on several trips, I think her maximum speed has been 47 knots. That's quick. Now, the funny thing is, is that from off the boat, her new shorter rig does actually look quite short. In fact, if I'm honest, it looks a bit weird, but I tell you what, from here, you look up at that rig there, you tell me that's small. When it comes to her sail plan, she's quite straightforward. She's got a mainsail, two headsails, and a jenica. But it's moving them around that's gonna be the problem. This morning, when we got on board the boat, there were five people required to move just one of these sails. When Guichard heads off on the route to rum, It'll be just him. This has to be one of the most extraordinary boats I've ever sailed. 131 feet long, the world's biggest trimaran. She's nuts. But I tell you what, I wouldn't mind doing a fast net in it. One day and eight hours, lovely. You don't even need to take sandwiches. Sailing on your own though, maybe not so much. <laughs> 